Welcome you to Channel Aquaculture Farm. Alaskan king crab fishing is carried out during the fall in the waters off the coast of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. The commercial catch is shipped worldwide. Large numbers of king crab are also caught in Russian and international waters. The most popular crab fishing time occurs between October and January. The allocated time for a season continued to shrink at one point a red crab season was only four days long. After 2005, each boat was given a quota based on their catch from previous years and how many crabs are available to catch. Commercial fishing boats are between 12 and 75 meters, 39 and 246 feet, in length are equipped with hydraulic systems to lift the catch, and are able to withstand the freezing weather of the Bering Sea. Each fishing boat sets its own sailing schedule during the crabbing season, often staying out for days or weeks at a time. Fishermen use a box-shaped trap called a pot, which consists of a steel frame covered with a nylon mesh. Each pot weighs 600 to 800 pounds, 270 to 360 kilograms, and a ship may carry 150 to 300 pots. Fish, usually herring or codfish, are placed inside as bait, and then the pot is sunk to the sea floor where the king crabs reside. The pots are dropped in a straight line for easier retrieval. The location of the pot is marked on the surface by a buoy, which is later used for retrieval. After allowing the pots to rest on the sea floor, typically one to two days for red and blue king crab. The pot is then brought on board the boat and the crew sorts the catch. Any crabs not meeting the regulation requirements for size and gender are thrown back. The crabs are stored live in a holding tank until the boat reaches shore, where they are sold. If the weather becomes too cold, the live crabs may freeze and burst. Even the rocking of the boat can cause damage to the crabs, so boards are inserted in the holds to prevent excessive side-to-side -side movement. If a crab dies in the hold for any reason, it releases toxins that can kill other crabs. If the crew fails to remove the dead crabs, they can poison the entire tank and ruin the catch.
Although commercial Alaska shell fishing is rated as one of the most hazardous occupations in America, it can be quite profitable for those skilled at it. To do that though, takes fortitude, experience. fishermen and women willing to risk the waters of the Bering Sea, a king crab boat is a home, protector, source of wealth and refuge for a wharf. These fishing vessels typically range anywhere from 50 to 300 feet in length, and they're equipped with massive hydraulic systems for administering crab pots, which weigh up to 700 pounds. The Golden King Crab exists around the Aleutian Adak Islands and is located deeper in the water, between 600 to 1,600 feet deep. The fishers mark the depth of each pot with a buoy for identification. 